With the Paris 2024 Olympics in full swing and reports of the International Olympics Committee abandoning Sega and Nintendo, the future of the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games series is shrouded in mystery. After skipping out on this year's summer event, could the series come back for a future Olympics? Or would Sega and Nintendo not want to bother anymore after the IOC favored NFTs? Well, I have a different question instead. Why do Mario and Sonic have to be restricted to the Olympics anyway? In fact, this shift may just be a blessing in disguise, and it may just open the doors to Mario and Sonic having some other kind of crossover. So the crossover series as we already know it is basically just a party game, right? So what if they got a more original party game? You know, putting a bigger focus on a variety of characters from both games and a variety of locations from both games making it actually feel like we're pulling from both of these worlds for a fun party game. You know, less generic sports for the events. The Dream events used to be great elements of crossover for Mario and Sonic, actually taking place in their respective worlds and their respective levels. But later on in the series, they kind of dialed back on that, maybe only having a couple of them. But what if we had a full game of just these? I think that would be a far more interesting way to expand on the party game idea. Uh, instead of just generic sports, you have all basically a game of just a bunch of dream events. Sure, it's still a minigame collection of sports games, but at least it's a little bit more interesting and leads into the crossover element more. But what about a new crossover, pulling from spin-offs familiar to both Mario and Sonic? Like, both have had pretty successful racing games, of varying quality. Mario Kart series is always pretty high up there, whereas the Sonic series has had some waves. There's a Sonic Riders games and various Sonic racing games, like Sonic and Sega all Stars Racing, Team Sonic Racing, etc. So what about a new racing game crossover between the two? It would probably need to be different enough from Mario Kart to stay distinct, probably leaning more towards a Sonic racing of some kind, but featuring Mario characters, which I'm not quite sure if that's going to be an interesting draw. So instead of racing, what about party games? Both have a lot of experience in party games. Mario, obviously, has Mario Party, but even when it got very experimental, it's usually been pretty successful. Sonic, on the other hand, has had several different party endeavors that have been mixed, like Sonic Shuffle and the party mode to Sonic in the Secret Ranks. So what if we had a proper Mario and Sonic party? Something different than traditional Mario Party, so you can lean back into the different experimental era of Mario Party but pull from a variety of characters from across both series, have mini games that are references to both, and play to the strength of both series. There's a lot you can kind of do with that. Maybe not really taking many mechanics from Sonic's existing party games, though, to be honest. But I think we're still thinking too small in terms of crossovers. We're still thinking too closely within the bounds of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, a party game, mini game collection kind of thing. Let's think bigger. What if we had some sort of big, proper crossover? Like Mario plus Rabbids. That was completely original and interesting, and had two games. And it also had completely unique gameplay and story for both IPs. Plus, it showed Nintendo was willing to work with other studios for bigger, more exciting crossover games. And based on developer interviews, it sounds like the original pitch for Mario and Rabbids came from Ubisoft as well. So. What could that be like for Mario and Sonic, other than every fan of both series' perfect fanfiction game? Well, first off, the pitch would probably have to come from Sega. Sega seemed to be the ones actively making the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games series, and that's probably why most of the music was Sonic-styled, which meant a lot of fun remixes for the Mario games. So it would probably have to be Sega pitching the game, Sega working on it, Nintendo licensing it out to them. Yeah, sure, have fun, work on it. Just like it was with Ubisoft for Mario and Rabbids. Anyway, for the game itself though, it would most likely have some sort of merging of universes, not unlike Mario plus Rabbids. The premise would probably have something to do with the Chaos Emeralds, honestly. <laughs> so the source of the crossover would come from Sonic's side of things and then involve Mario, maybe fusing the two universes together, which would allow for some really uniquely designed levels that fit both worlds. Like, imagine the Sonic-style loop-de-loop in a Mario aesthetic. The goal of the game would probably be to restore both universes to the way they should be, 
Though that didn't happen for Mario plus Rabbids. They stayed the way they were and used that to be able to make a sequel. So my question then is, would they set up a story-based Mario and Sonic game to have a sequel, or would it be treated solely as a one-off thing? Kinda hard to say. They've already crossed over into the Olympics a lot, and never really explained that one. In terms of what the game could be like, though, we could see some sort of RPG. I mean, the Mario Plus Rabbids series is a turn-based tactics strategy RPG. Though, another crossover RPG might be too much for Mario RPGs. There's a lot of Mario RPGs. Then again, we don't know if Mario Plus Rabbids has a future to continue, since Davide Soliani has left Ubisoft. We don't know what's gonna happen with that series. Maybe a Mario and Sonic RPG could take that place. Or maybe it could be closer to a traditional turn-based RPG, and feature more characters from both series to make some sort of party. I mean, Izuka did recently mention he would like to do a Sonic RPG again, so it's not impossible, I guess. But I think the most exciting prospect for fans would be some sort of 3D adventure game. Maybe even mission-based, like Sonic Adventure 2. And instead of Team Hero and Team Dark, it could be Team Mario and Team Sonic. Although they wouldn't necessarily be working against each other. But this would allow for perspectives of both sides of the crossover. But I guess you could do Team Hero and Team Dark, and then you just pair the heroes together and pair the villains together. Which, again, would give you two completely different sides for a crossover story. But seriously though, just imagine Sonic sprinting through different stages, both Sonic-themed and Mario-themed, while Mario jumps around platforming levels, and all the different stages playing to the different strengths of each character's abilities. You could probably have Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, and Bowser as the main cast from the Mario side, while the Sonic side has Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, and Eggman. We already have plenty of examples of these characters having different abilities in different games, so seeing all that come together for a crossover wouldn't be too unreasonable. And there could always be even more characters on top of that. The Sonic Adventure games have already been good about balancing speed-based levels with other types based on different characters and their playstyles. Seeing that in a crossover between Mario and Sonic could be really exciting. Do I expect this to happen? No. That's the big pipe dream. That's the big... <laughs> That's the big, perfect fanfiction story kind of thing that I mentioned. But what would you guys like to see a proper Mario and Sonic crossover game be like? Do you like any of our ideas, or do you have a completely different idea that you think would work really well? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for plenty more on Mario and Sonic, albeit likely not together in the same game for quite some time, and other things gaming as well, of course. Until next time, farewell.